Hey guys, so today I wanted to show you this tip in our studio, and that is how to schedule jobs to run in the background. So sometimes you want to work on a project while simultaneously also want to run a script that you have. So in order to start a local job, we need an R script to schedule. So we'll go ahead and write that. So maybe you have one already, but all you need to add is the required packages that you want or need in the script. So here as a test, I'm just going to require Quamod. I'm just going to get some data for some tickers, and then I'll get some data for those tickers. For testing purposes, I'll just leave it as a short script like this. So we'll save the script and then we'll go to the jobs pane, click on start a local job. All right, only check this box if you have some variables in your environment that this script needs to use. And then copy job results. I want the results to get sent to my global environment. So I'll go ahead and click this. I'll click on start. And then I'll go back. You'll see a nice progress bar for the script. And in the meantime, you can go to your console or work on another script in the meantime while this job is completed. So here it says it succeeded. It took seven seconds. And if we go to our environment, we see that it actually returned all the data for the tickers I requested. So that's a nice tip if you're having to run multiple scripts at a time or if you want to just schedule something while also working on another project. So I highly recommend this method. And that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys in case you guys didn't know. Also, I don't know how many scripts you can schedule at a time, but in the past, I've had a couple running in the background while I was working on a separate project. All right, guys. Well, I hope you like this video. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions. And as always, thanks for watching.